Hey guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name is Rich and I'm really, really excited because today we have a real-time recipe which you are gonna absolutely love. Behind this door here, we have got four of the world's greatest bartenders from four of the world's greatest bartending cities making four amazing drinks. So it's part of London Cocktail Week. Let's go and meet them. Come on, in we come, follow me, follow me, follow me. Hey guys, welcome. So these guys are the team captains for an amazing London Cocktail Week event called the 24 Hour Bar Build, where these guys have come up with a concept to build a bar and they then have 24 hours to build it and then serve it to a whole load of guests. Invited guests such as you, could be you out there, are coming down to vote for who they think is the best bar. So. Let's meet the team, shall we? First up, we have Mr. Joel Fraser, one of the tallest bartenders I've ever met from the Cufflink Club in Singapore. We also have Mr. Rich Woods, strong beard Rich Woods, from just around the corner, Duck and Waffle, very, very tall bar. Is it the tallest bar in the city? Tallest bar in London. Tallest bar in London, amazing. Then we then have Leo Robicek, all the way from New York City, from the Nomad Bar, and then we have Karina, my only friend Karina from Paris, from Candelaria. So, let's show the people what, we, uh, what they tuned in for, shall we? Yeah, yeah. I'm Joel, come on, let's go. Let's start with the people that came the furthest after you. Nice of you to say. Right. Thanks for the opportunity. So, tell me what you are making. Making a cocktail today for the guys that are watching called The Hook. The Hook. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. How on earth does that tie into your concept for the bar build tomorrow? Well, our, our concept is basically a boxing concept, Cuban boxing, of course. Genius. Why Cuban? Focusing. Well, you know, there's a little product that we love, one of our favorite rums um, that uh, we can mention, Bacardi. Yes, that Bacardi. We're be, Bacardi uh, have sponsored your bar, haven't they? Exactly that. Fantastic. Yeah. Exactly that. Amazing. So, come on, let's crack on. Let's make it, shall we? Let's bang away, shall we? Absolutely. Yeah. So bang we're away, do, so to speak. Round one. Round one, ding, ding. Okay, so we're going to go 30 mils of everyone's favorite rum. Bacardi uh, Añejo, white and aged rum. Bacardi, a little bit of depth in there, right? A little bit of wood on the finish, a little yeah. bit of caramel as well. Everyone loves this sort of stuff, okay? Lovely. Moving on, 10 mil. Yeah, 10 mil of dry vermouth. I have to say, this recipe looks quite complicated. There's a lot going on here. I'm not entirely sure who okayed this, but I'm gonna give it a whirl anyway. All right. So always use your jiggers. Yep. That's, uh, that's 10 mils of dry vermouth. So tell the people why you are using dry vermouth, not a sweet one. Dry vermouth is just going to add a little bit of herbaceousness, just dry that whole right, cocktail okay. out. We've got some bitters happening as well. Yep. Italian bitters, we've got some uh, Creole bitters, and we've also got some aromatic bitters. So Goodness it's all going to be going on. Let's go a dash Good, of this and a dash of that. Yeah, absolutely. So a dash of the kind of Creole bitters, a dash of aromatic bitters. Use them both if you've got the money, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Um, some of this, right. five mils, so this is not much at all. This is uh, going to be an Italian bitter. Okay. Um, so just again, add a little bit of complexity to the drink, yeah. you know what I mean? A little, a little bit of a bittersweet sort of characteristic. Took the words out of my mouth. Amazing. And then, again, quite herbaceous, right? Can be, can yeah. be, yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, Lovely. so just a five mil of that. Five mil, so a yeah. splash. I like your You're taking terminology. Notes. Now, you said to me earlier on that you were a massive fan of banana, and I pulled that in, and here we go, we have some banana liqueur, okay? Amazing. Three mil of banana liqueur. Three mil. Two's not enough, four's just too much, so uh, let's see if we can get this right. Goodness me. Yeah, this perfect, is, perfect. So how perfect. are you going to be knocking this out for these, for all the people that are going to be at the bar building? We're going to batch it all together in a big truck, and we're just going to ship it to people in a Amazing. paper cup. That does rhyme, but it wasn't meant to. Um, and <laughs> Makes then, a lot of sense. Yeah, chocolate liqueur for the ladies, why not, right? Lifetime so, on the hips for just a moment on the lips. They so say. let me get this straight. So you've yeah, got like, the, bitter, the bitter herbaceous secure, the dry herbaceous yeah, secure. Yeah. So I guess they'll work together quite nicely. And then you've got the two bitters which would work quite nicely. Exactly. So and these then, are buddies, they're friends. And then we've got banana and chocolate. Banana and chocolate. Yeah. Amazing. So just three mil of this as well, not too much because, of course, very fattening. We're all watching our weight nowadays, we 2015. Are. And then let's get some ice in there because we're going to have to chill this baby down, okay? So this was prepared earlier. Real ice. Real ice. You're yeah. stirring it, not shaking it. I'm going to stir this one, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't like shaking on camera, you know, all the wrong parts. No, it's, it's got wrong all, parts wobble, yeah, exactly that. It's got all the, uh, all the reasons to go wrong, doesn't it? So we'll give this a little stir, stir absolutely. Not too long. How long, do you, how long is long enough? 19.7 seconds. 19.7 seconds, exactly. Yeah. Who's got the stopwatch? Did anyone? Producer's got the stopwatch. There you go. He gave me the nod. I'll give it a quick taste. Tastes like heaven. I don't know how we do it sometimes, honestly. It looks delicious. It looks like a Manhattan. If you look, you're going to get to try this in just 10 seconds. Woohoo! Okay, strain Exciting. that into there. And then we need some garnish action happening. Right. Simple stuff, a little bit of orange for the oils. So th is this kind of similar to the kind of thing that you do at your bar in Singapore? Yeah, oh, hey, the bar in Singapore, out of control. You guys got to come the check Cuffling it out. Club. The Cuffling Club. Yeah, we do all sorts of stuff at the Singapore, you know what I mean? Anything you like. And then let's just drop a couple of ice cubes in there as well. Use your fingers. Keep it nice and cold. Wow. Hands are nice and clean, aren't they? Yeah, well, uh, they are nice and clean, yeah. 
<laughs> you, you Unlike some that. of you lot over there. I sure. present to you the hook. The hook. Amazing. I'm looking forward to this. It looks great. It looks like a cup of tea. You know, from the tea shop around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Well, any tea good. shop. Other tea shops are available. <laughs> it's got a lovely, that lovely orangey, banana-y sort of aroma to it. Yeah, it's like a cheesecake. Whoa. That is really complex. And that's not even acting, because he can't act. So that's really good. That's a good drink, right? It is. It's an amazing drink, guys. Amazing drink. I want another go. What do you think? I mean, Out of 10? Oh, I'll give it a nine and a half. 12? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. A nine and a half, only because there's only one of them. You're a shame. Um, so that is an absolutely amazing drink. Have a lick of that. I'm sure you've tasted it a million times. But guys, if you're interested in that, make comments in the comment box below. Mm. Let us know what you think about that. And of course, Send them all the best for the 24-hour uh, bar build, which um, we are going to be streaming live on the Facebook page, on the Drinks Food Facebook page, so tune in for that. Now, time for recipe number two. Cheers, Joel. Right over here, we've got our main man, Mr. Richard Woods from uh, London, captain of the London team. I'm just going to run around Thank here. You, you guys are bringing us a uh, Patron tequila bar, aren't you? We are indeed, yeah. So um, basically, we've, uh, we've come up with a concept of uh, second chances. Second so the chances. idea is that at some point in your lives, everybody has wanted a second chance, turn back the clock, do something a bit different. Uh, so we've incorporated that into our build. So we're basically inviting you to come into our space and to give tequila its second chance. So we're going to create drinks Excellent. that have uh, not your usual tequila cocktails, something that kind of uh, brings something a bit different to the, to, the, to the night. Okay. And then, yeah, hopefully everyone walks away thinking that was amazing. I love so tequila. we're not talking tequila slammers, tequila sunrises, that Not at all. Thing. No, Expect absolutely not at all. We're, we're, London's a 24-hour city, so we're, we're looking at creating cocktails that are accessible and representative particular times of day. Amazing. So as the sun rises and the sun sets, there's a tequila cocktail for every occasion. That's brilliant. So which one are you going to make for us? So we're going to make the breakfast uh, drink that we're going to be producing. And first of all, uh, this is our take on a breakfast style Negroni. I was going to say the ingredients ingredients look very Negroni-esque. Yeah, they are a bit, a bit Negroni. Also, obviously, we're using a tequila, so we're using a, a Reposado tequila, so repo slight, tequila, slightly aged. Tequila. No, I think the Repo works really well. We're looking for something with a little bit of age in there as well. Okay. We're looking for something a bit more rounded. Yep. Uh, obviously, we've got, our, we've got our sweet vermouth, we've got our uh, Italian bitters, mm -hmm. and then we're going to be adding some coffee and a, a little bit of magic as well. Oh, some coffee. Ooh, tell us more about that. So this is the, uh, this is the, the uh, coffee tequila. This okay. is a little, little something that nods towards the breakfast time. So we've obviously got our coffee. We have our orange, which typically goes into a Negroni. Yep. Uh, and then we have some form of... Uh, uh, magics that we're adding to the um, to the cocktail, which is essentially our, our pain au chocolat or our almond croissant. We're adding a little bit of that into it as well. It sounds so clever. Come on, let's crack right, on. Right, cool, let's no problem it. at all. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Reposado tequila. Yeah. Uh How much? Uh, we're going in here with 20. 20 milliliters. So not a huge amount. No, no. Uh, drinks don't have to be that strong. It just, it's just about balance, isn't it? Nobody lists that as an ingredient in a recipe. Balance. Balance, That's yeah. The key to it every is good the key recipe. ingredient. So we're going to go with our, a sweet vermouth. Mm -hmm. Same again. again. Same amount, yep, absolutely. Absolutely perfect. Uh, and then we're going to go our Italian bitters. Just a dash and that. So we're going, uh, we're going to measure this. So we're going to go 10. So in a normal Negroni, you'd probably put equal parts in with, yeah. with generally gin, wouldn't you? So why generally, are you going with less? Uh, again, it's all about balance. You know, people sometimes have an issue with bitter. Right, okay. I think it's all about, uh, you know, adding the right consistency of the products. You're going for the popular win, aren't you? We are, hopefully. Yeah, we're going to go. We're, we're local, so you've got to vote local. You do. You do. Guys, if you are in London, make sure you come down and check it out. I'm not biased or anything, but Team London. And I got the same name as well. You can't, it's you true. Can't it's true. And we used to live across the street from each other. It did. Yeah, absolutely. How long so until we realised that? Uh, I think just, but just before the day you moved or the day I moved. <laughs> so then we're going to add a little bit of magic. So basically what we've done is we take elements of breakfast time. So we've, yeah. got, our, we've got our coffee, we're going to add our orange juice. So this is basically uh, bitters that we've made uh, using uh, buttered croissant. So buttered we're add croissant that, yep, bitters. So we're going to add that as well. So you've, got the, you've basically Loco. got the pan of chocolate as well. Yeah. This is really, really clever stuff. So this is essentially, this is again, you know, just like Singapore, we've batched our cocktail. It's got to be simple. It's got to be easy. It's got to be quick. You've yeah. got to be able to make it at home. But we're going to add a little bit of something special at the end. Fantastic. Again, uh, it's quite a sophisticated drink as well. I mean, how are you bring, How are you guys going to reflect that in your in your bar? Uh, you're going to have to come down and have a look. Oh, tune you have in to come to the down. Live shows. Come oh, down so and you. support local. Hell yes. So what about? Um, tell me a bit, little bit more about uh, about your bar, about Duck and Waffle. Duck and Waffle. Well, Duck and Waffle is a is a twenty four hour bar. Um, we're basically forty yeah. floors up and uh, in the city. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it reflects very nicely into our concept of our bar because we're doing a twenty four hour menu. We're doing sunrise and sunset perfect. cocktails. That makes perfect sense. Um, so yeah, it's actually it's, it's pretty. Yeah, again, come up, have, check it out. Yeah. Great. So we're going to stir this down. Uh -huh. This is a nice kind of uh, stirred cocktail. Just a small little sip. 
Looking good. Nice frosting on the outside. Yeah, nice, there. nice and cold. Always look for nice frosting. There we go. Cold is key, right? Cold is key, and dilution as well. It's exactly, all especially when you're not using juices and things like that. Am I right? Correct. Fantastic. I can't and there wait we go. to try this. Look at that, looks amazing. Tell us about the box as well. What's up with the box? So it's actually made out of a cinnamon bark. Um, right. Don't eat it. Please don't eat it. It's not a garnish. Uh, it's just for presentation. It's a cinnamon right. box. A aromatic little nod, as well, right? uh, totally aromatic. A yeah. little nod to the uh, to the uh, the pastry there. So we've got a pan of chocolate, but that is also distilled into the cocktail. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to help myself. Go for this it. Looks, this looks absolutely brilliant. Team London repping it with that. Look at that. Looks awesome. Repping the reposado. Repping the well reposado. Done. Thank you. I didn't even plan it. Oh, that box smells incredible. The drink smells good for it too, as well, by the way. That's lovely. You've got those lovely kind of nutty aromas. I guess they're got, coming from the tequila, You've right? got the nutty notes from the tequila, yeah. You've got the savoury notes. You've also you've got the buttery saltiness. You've got the creaminess from the butter. You've got oh, the wow. pan of chocolate in there as well. Oh, dude, that is seriously good. Here. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm. Check that out. A little sneak preview from the New York team. What do you reckon? You guys going to be able to match that? Nah, absolutely. <laughs> it's darn tasty, but well done. Well, anyway, good luck tomorrow, everyone. I will be there supporting you as support I will all the local. others. Come and support local. Exactly. You always back yourself up. Thank home, you, right? buddy. Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Home team, home team. Better, better than the rugby, we hope. Cool. Come down. Don't forget to comment on. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to comment on these recipes, and of course, don't forget to come down if you're in London to check it out. But if you're not, of course, we're streaming the event and the build itself live on our Facebook page, so um, you can always see what's going on, get a little insight into the world behind this cool event. Let's move over here. We've got Karina from Candelaria in yes. Paris, but originally hailing from Colombia, right? Yes. Amazing. You are making a Bombay Sapphire drink. I'm tomorrow. Bombay Sapphire. You are Bombay I'm Sapphire. I'm that lucky. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So tell us a little bit more about it. What are you making? So um, all our cocktails and our concert, our concert is Paris. And we wanted to bring the new Paris, the new wave of the urban, crazy uh, Paris it is. And all, all inspired in the universe of Bombay, keeping all the botanicals, the herbal, and bringing gin to aperitif. Amazing. So we have here um, a fun aperitif uh, that uh, in our competition we're going to do in a larger scale. Um, we wanted to do it very fun. Because sometimes people have this uh, notion of aperitif being a little bit boring, like all the time be like a little glass of wine or a glass of champagne. But we want to do something very fun where you actually want to forget dinner. Amazing. I mean, that's the greatest part yes. about aperitif. It's when you go for aperitif at about five o'clock and yeah. then you rock up for dinner at midnight. And you meet a lot of people Amazing. and you have a lot of yeah. fun. So here we go. Sounds we good. actually have a delicious gin that is blue. How did you do that? <laughs> So we work with uh, natural coloring. Okay. It's the same you use for patisseries. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, put our gin blue. Uh, when you play with coloring, that's what happens. You get your hands very blue, so I apologize for that. Really getting but, the um, <laughs> but it is really delicious. So we go with our 30 mils of blue Bombay. Of blue Bombay. And that's how it looks. That looks really nice. I love the way it reflects in the glass. That's very classy. Oh yeah, this is a perfect aperitif glass. Here we go. Then we're going to use Han Kan Kan. Han Kan Kan? Do you know this? Han Kan Kan. Okay, you're going to have to tell the people a little bit about that. So Han Kan Kan is a French aperitif, yeah. white wine based, mm -hmm. um, that is infused with uh, peach leaves. It's very fruity and delicious. Whereabouts in France is it generally? It's in Provence, From in the Provence. south of France. So nice, the south of France, lovely part of the world, isn't yes, it? Yes, lovely part of the world, indeed. This is great stuff. It kind of brings a lovely fruitiness to it, but a little it's bit of zesty to the flavour exactly. at the same time. It is. It's, it's, it's very refreshing really and citrusy too. Here we go. So how much of this one are you using? 30 mils. So 30, 30. Equal, and it still is blue. Here we go. Somebody out there like that. Yes. 30 mils! Every, every, everybody, everybody likes blue. OK, so what's this? Uh, so this is our house a raspberry leaf cordial. Oh, so wow. keeping the green, keeping the leaves. Um, this is, as you see, completely clear. There's no mm -hmm. fruit. It's really more uh, herbal and uh, So when you say raspberry leaf, it's like, like the raspberry leaf teas you can buy? Indeed, like those kind of, teas, yeah. You can, get, you can get that, exactly. Turn that it to sounds syrup. cool. Sugar, water. So I'm getting this sort of feel of, uh, please carry on, I'm getting this sort of Go feel on. of a kind of like fruity but kind of herbaceous sort of feel to the drink. Yes, and the whole that's what it is. So we have Terrible 10 ml. Perfect. Is this something that you do at Candelaria or, or any of your bars in Paris? Or? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> this has been created with my team. We, uh -huh. Everything we have done for this has been team oriented. Great. So we are six, uh, all the other five are extremely talented bartenders and we all work together. And they all, they so all, they all rocked up here early to help you prep as well. Yeah, uh, they did. They did. Solid teamwork from the French. It's team. definitely teamwork. Solid teamwork. 
So 10 mils of the uh, raspberry leaf uh, liqueur? Cordial. 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 So is yes. that like a... What, so it's a house, it's house me. Okay, cool. Here we go. Crack on, what's the next ingredient? Then it's fresh lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So this is going to be 15 mls. So that balances the sweetness of the raspberry leaf cordial? Exactly. And right. the rank and can as well. And the rank and can. Looking lush. So a lovely colour. This needs to be a fun drink. So we're going to add our ice. It's always important, of course, in our dilution. Mm -hmm. There you go. I mean, how could it not be a fun drink? It's blue. Well, no, yeah, but we have more fun coming. Super disco. It is more fun. Coming. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys do. Is it, I, I'm expecting a little bit of a Moulin Rouge kind of element, top hats, <laughs> tails. I um, saw the thing you did in Russia a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, you did? Yeah, I was there. I saw <laughs> that. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was all very So cool. we want to do this very playful. So look what we have here. I know this can be very nice. I know, I know it's coming, that it's coming. Super wait different. a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is just the beginning. And we're gonna stir this. Amazing. We're gonna stir this. So and this is Bombay Universe. Give me a second. So tell us a little bit more about Candelaria while you're stirring. So Candelaria uh, started in March 2011. Okay. It's, um, it's a project that uh, I, I built my career towards South American spirits. Okay. I worked a lot with tequila, mezcal, rums, cachaces, and piscos, and I wanted a place in Paris that could hold and highlight those spirits. Okay, um, cool. At the same time, we have a delicious taqueria because Paris was really looking for, was really needing, actually, Mexican food. Mm. Uh, so we work on it, and uh, today that's what, what we have. And you kind of, like, from, from what I know of the Paris scene, it's like really been like a, a candelaria. I'd say it's been a light, a shining light on the Paris bar scene, which is super up and coming, which is why you've been elected to be one of like the four key cocktail cities, right? It's, it's, it is indeed a, a, I mean, it's my bar, so of course I love of it. Course. But uh, it, is a, it is a very special spot, and I think inspired a lot of people, yeah. and what the bar scene has become today in Paris is amazing. And, mm. uh, and more and more, all these bartenders opening their own bars, and they have great concepts, and they're all different. So it's a scene that's very complimentary and yeah. interactive. So lots of cool little bars. Can um, we finish this? Cool stuff. Please, yeah, go ahead, please. All right, we have this fun thing here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you what I it is. I was wondering what this is. So this is an emulsion. Mm -hmm. This is Mido, our colleague, uh, secret emulsion, with seaweed and uh, soy lecithin. Oh wow. Uh, this is done, the uh, equal parts of each, yeah. a little bit of the powder, and the rancancan. So we're gonna find the rancancan in the nose. So they're kind of like an umami yes. sort of. Yes, it's gonna be very fun, you're gonna see. Can I have a little smell of that, you want? You. Smell is amazing. Ooh, wow, that's really fruity. Yeah. But like that little hint of sort of saltiness to it as well. No, it's Lush. really delicious. So how would you make this? So you use half. Whoa, that was fun. Here we go. And this you're just gonna pour very gently all around. So I know it looks crazy. It looks it, awesome. It is a crazy drink because we don't want to take ourselves extremely seriously here. As I said, we are not bringing the classic. Um, Boring aperitif. We want to do something. Yeah, no Negroni's on this side. No Negroni's on this side. Very, over very fun. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all about the fun at the end of the day. It is indeed. And I mean, I don't know you guys, but when I host people at home, when I host people at home, I like them to have a good time and to be uh, interactive. Yeah. So this is playful and. Uh, it sure is. And it is fun to, to do. So and when you drink it, you're going to get this little milk moustache, right? Uh, I will put it on our friend here, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> the cake in so the face. So you thing, come here. Is. That looks really nice. Here we you go. Know what it's kind of got like a sea sort of look to it. Like a it does. It does. All right. Amazing. I'm really I looking think forward to getting it. into that. This is. Uh, really? Cool. Please. Fantastic. Have a look at this, guys. Look at that. That lovely glowing light underneath there. Very Jules Verne. I have to say that this, you can do it in a large punch bowl yeah. and it looks incredible. I bet it does, with, that, with the foam on top and everything? The foam, you, I would do it individually. Individually, yeah. okay, cool. It smells great. You've got that lovely peachy aroma as you'd expect, I guess, from the, from the emulsion. Oh, wow. That's really lovely. That's like, that's delicious. That's kind of fruity. It does have that sort of leafy flavor to it. It's really delicate, but it's kind of really, it's, it's delicate, but it's, Big flavors as well. I don't quite know how to describe it. It tastes very it's different gorgeous. how it looks. That's no, for it's, sure. it's really good. It's fruity. It's kind. Of, it's, it's super mm. fruity. Really fresh at the same time. Really, really tasty. That. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Here, yeah, try it. Pass it I'll around. You guys, watch out for that. That is absolutely awesome, guys. 
if you uh, want to come and check out and taste that for yourself. I call this a drink that pays the rent. Yeah, pays the bills. <laughs> this Not pays me. the bills. So if you want to check that out for yourself and you are in London, come down to the uh, the event tomorrow, sorry, the event later on, the 24-hour bar build. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Get to see them doing that in bulk. I can't wait to see you doing that for however many people are going to be there. Loads of people. Anyway, one more bartender to showcase their wares today. We have Leo from the Nomad in New York City. Nomad is an amazing restaurant and I'm going to bring this up yet again that I can never get a table at. Well, but if you win, I'll make sure we, if we win, I'll make sure you can always get a table. So. Okay, no pressure guys, so come down and vote for New York. Yeah, New York. Amazing. So tell us what you're going to be making today. Yeah, so um, we're representing Team New York. Uh -huh. And uh, basically we were already told that we won. So we just wanted to throw <laughs> a little block party. So we gathered some of our best friends and some of the most amazing bartenders. And we're throwing uh, a party at Paul's Boutique. Skills. So Paul's Boutique NYC. You can see us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Nice. Uh, so we're doing uh, the Bonita Apple Bomb. Bonita um, Apple, wait a minute, hold on. I, I can feel like a theme running here. Paul's Boutique, Bonita Apple Bomb. It's all yeah, a little helps bit hip-hop. party on. Yeah, yeah exactly. So we, we have, uh, we're, doing, we're doing a 1990s New York City, you know, Harlem block party. Oh, skills. So again, that sounds awesome. That's so New here. York, isn't it? That's Definitely so New York. York. It's like, like um, what are they, the, 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 the fire hydrants exploding in the street in the you summer. You might see one of those. You never Amazing. Know. And so you are making a Grey Goose drink. Yeah, we're your making event. a Grey Goose drink. What, and uh, called Bonita Apple Bomb. So Perfect. let's get it on. Let's make it. Perfect. So, New York City, we're known for our cocktails. We're known for very classically driven cocktails. We uh -huh. don't need a lot of uh, fancy things or bribe people with food. We just want really <laughs> great, great, great flavors. Keeping it straight. Yeah. So, really simple cocktail, easy to drink, great for the outdoors. And we're gonna start with a one to one demerara sugar. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bit under 15 mLs, or okay. as we say, a scant half ounce in, uh, in, in America. A scant half ounce, cool. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a full 15 ml of lemon juice. So your sweet sour balance with a demerara soup. Why demerara? Why is that going to work better than like a regular sugar? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it has quite a bit more maltiness to it. Yeah. So true. it's going to give it a little bit more texture as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also going to give it a, a different flavor. Um, and the whole inspiration behind this drink was sort of New York City right now in the fall. Okay. We wanted something nice. that would be easy, simple. The apples are coming right in the season. And Lovely. this is sort of basically like, a, like an apple cider. So all, tell the people at home what New York City is like in the, in the fall, uh, autumn. Oh. New York City in the fall, um, absolutely beautiful. The leaves start changing for about two days and then it's bitter cold. Um, but it's a great place. Fantastic. And so then this is? This is, uh, as you call it, cloudy apple juice. Cloudy as we apple. call as it, it, apple cider. Um, so we're doing, with this, uh, 25 ml or about three quarters of an ounce. Okay. And then we're doing the same with this Amaro. So now there's lots of different Amaros out there. Uh, this one we choose in particular because it has tons of like cinnamon and black pepper notes. Okay, so explain, really explain the to the people what Amaro yeah. is. Amaro is just basically a generic term for an Italian bitter. An Italian bitter, yeah. Amaro being the Italian for bitter, right? Correct. And so generally, so you can get like quite a few. There was, um, yeah. Rich was using a kind of, I guess, an Amaro style. Yeah, he was using an Amaro style as well. And this one's a little bit darker, yeah. a little bit darker. This one color. is uh, probably a little bit more bitter than what he was using. Right. Um, I would say it's, you know, it means medium bitter Habano. Okay. Um, but uh, this one has tons and tons of, uh, of that fall spice. So, so it's going to work. Cinnamon, with, black yeah. pepper. It's going to work beautifully with that. This yeah. is, it just makes sense. This drink makes sense. Do you know what and I mean? And then the shining star, something to give it more texture and body. We're going to do 45 mLs. As okay. I have to get used to your jiggers over here. Yeah. Here They're classy, here. aren't they? They're very classy. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So, and then this is going to be shaken up and served yep, in we're going to shake it and, well, today we're going to serve it in a rocks glass, but okay. we're a block party, so we're going to do some solo cups. Amazing. Yeah. Let me hold that down for yeah, you. Know. Thank you. Give it a whack. Yeah. We normally we normally don't uh, don't put our hands on the ice. No, it's okay. They're nice and clean. Perfect. And it's just it's just for us. Lot. They're not going to taste any of this, are they? Perfect. It's just for me and you. We're cool with that. Well, they can if they want to. Yeah, for sure. So, um, is this? I'll let you shake. Is this what? I'm going to say, shake it hard, shake it with a smile. It's the Tony Soprano way, right? Exactly. Fantastic. So is this kind of similar to the kind of thing you make at Nomad or is it just, have you guys just come up with like a full on New York theme? This actually is a variation of one of the cocktails that we do make at the Nomad. Okay. Uh, cool. The Nomad, it's a very seasonally driven yeah. restaurant. New York City thankfully does have four very unique seasons. Uh, and we, contrary to popular belief, we have tons of amazing produce that actually grows in New York City right in our it's backyard. True. Yeah, yeah. It's in Valley, so. I mean, there's we, loads of people growing their own stuff on rooftops and things like that. Totally all true. So for us, we just always are inspired by the season. Great. So we really try to develop all of our cocktails to represent that season. So 65 different cocktails, about 40 of them change every season. Wow, so that, must be, a, that must be loads of hard work. So when you're new, in New York City, there's a reason to go all time of year, right? 
all the time of year, it's different no matter when you go. I mean, summer's my favorite. Fall is one of my other favorites. So, yeah, right. And the city just gets absolutely beautiful. Well, I'm looking forward to this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the guys from the other cocktail mm -hmm. city produce. This looks awesome. I thought it was the cocktail city. It's the other cocktail oh, city. Okay. Come on, man, really. Come on, hey. Okay, New York's pretty cool. I have to give them that. This looks, oh. it looks wicked. It kind of, it looks, it looks like autumn in New York. Oh, thank you. Mm. So that is the Bonita Apple Bomb. If you guys um, want to come down and uh, check all of these drinks out, guys, come back here, get in. Team NYC, Paul's Boutique, New York. Yeah, or just or come Paris. in. Team London or Paris, <laughs> or, Paris. or London, London. Team Vote Singapore. London. Vote, Vote London. London. Seven. Guys, on. comment. Um, in the comments box below and of course subscribe to the drinks tube channel uh, here on YouTube and of course don't forget to either come down if you're in London to the event tomorrow or if not uh, check us out on the drinks tube Facebook page where we will be streaming live we've got three live streams of the build of all of these guys so guys who's gonna win just come down if you want to party come with us if you want to Go box no, you want to come with me. me. It's I mean, going to be awesome. I'm the Colombian here. <laughs> oh, I know how to party. What's going on? It's going to be such a cool event. There's going to be loads of bands. So please come down, check us out. Thank you very much Pause for watching, guys. Check it out. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you later.